Hi, many of you have seen my recent video where I shared some examples of Islamic death threats made against me. Just to keep you updated, here are some more examples of my recent direct or indirect Islamic death threats. Islam, my life forever, Allah willing, very graphically says, this is how he will get his head split in half, by making this videos. Muhammad Mo suggests a different method of execution, saying, The liar is at it again. I will celebrate into the night, the day that you get run over by a car, you filthy American CIA dog. Malik Islam, speaking about me and other apostates, says, So killing them by law becomes justified as they become shayateen, or devils for the people. Ali Ali shares his thoughts by saying, I'm a Muslim and I don't like you. I'm gonna kill you with a knife. And lastly, in a web blog which discusses my recent apostasy from Islam, we find the following, quote, Nadir says, There should be torture for everyone who represents Islam in a wrong way. Let's not compromise. Stand for killing the apostates. Look, as you have seen in my videos, I never attack Muhammad or Muslims. I simply read Islamic sources and then ask Muslims questions. And because of that, a number of Muslims want me dead. This disturbing truth has led many of you to conclude that Islam is not a religion of peace. Rather, it's a death cult which seeks to kill anyone who disagrees with it. However, there are other Muslims who highly doubt these Islamic death threats have any serious intent behind them, so they criticize me for displaying the death threats as a method of seeking attention or propaganda or self-promotion. Well, for you critical Muslims out there, I would like to inform you that the popular UK-based Islamic scholar Abdurrahman Dimashqiya apparently thinks these Islamic death threats are serious because he made a video advising Muslims not to kill me. In his video titled, A Call of Advice to the Apostate Ismail Abu Adam, he gives at least three reasons why Muslims shouldn't kill me. He clearly has a good memory because in the first minute of his video, he remembers meeting me. Yes, Sheikh, I am that British Muslim convert that you met some 15 years ago. Anyway, at 33 minutes until the end of the video, the Sheikh gives the following reasons for not killing me. Number one. He said Muslims should be trying to help apostates to remove their doubts. Number two, if you are in a non-Muslim country where Islam is weak, by killing an apostate you are making Islam weaker in that area or country because the non-Muslim majority will turn against Islam even more. And number three, even if you live in a Muslim country, you, the average Muslim, cannot kill an apostate. That decision can only be taken by an Islamic court, which is advised by Muslim scholars. There must also be an imam or leader in that Muslim country for all the Muslims. The implication here is, after going through a legal process in a Muslim country, I would in fact be killed as an apostate. Now, I don't know whether the Sheikh is genuinely concerned about my personal safety, or if he is only concerned about not making Islam weaker in non-Muslim countries. The point is, I'm not seeking attention or propaganda or self-promotion by displaying these Islamic death threats, because as you have seen, even this Muslim scholar takes the death threats seriously. Thank you for watching.